I'm, I'm in a Spanish area, so you gotta talk the talk, okay? Hola, hola, papi. Hola. Ah, you got a little dance? You got a little cha cha cha? CC. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we wait. I said CC. It's okay. The girl is international. <laughs> What's up, beautiful people? And welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With Us. Joseph. Don't, don't keep up with us. Don't keep up with us. Joseph. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with us. Joseph. Don't, don't keep up with us. Don't keep up with us. What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. It's your boy, Ricky Jones Jr., and I am so excited about this video today because I have my longtime friend uh, that's going to help me get better <laughs> in doing what I'm doing. As y'all can see, it's my friend, Toya. Y'all see the shirt, La La Crops. Hey. Go ahead and let the people know who you are, Miss Toya. <laughs> Well, my name is Latoya Mosley. Um, uh -huh. I have an Instagram called mm. Lala's Crops, yep. and then my YouTube is Lala Mosley. But Ricky and I are here today because we both have a love for gardening. Yes, so yes. Ricky has been uh. asking me to come over, yes. look at his garden, yes. and give him any advice for Boom. starting his vegetables so uh -huh. that's what i'm here that's do. what we're gonna do and i'm gonna make sure y'all have all her links they'll be in the description below make sure y'all go subscribe all that yes, good stuff yes, like yes. all her videos <laughs> if you want to do some gardening stuff some nail stuff some eyelash stuff y'all see the I makeup oh twinkle oh, twinkle twinkle uh, twinkle, uh, twinkle. Uh, happy 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 and them nails on point too yeah, yeah, you did you do the nails yeah i did the nails too. uh-huh uh-huh yeah. okay okay see there it is see <laughs> you can still have fun with y'all here gardening ladies right. and gentlemen so make the best out of the moment every moment that you have and it's always just good to be outside now y'all gonna see us sweating because it's very humid y'all know yeah. how it is in florida yeah. it's humid it's hot and it's gonna rain yeah. so we're gonna do what we gotta do now i have toya on today because toya has had some beautiful collards growing in her raised beds and i want to do the same in mine so i don't know if y'all well i'm gonna show y'all so y'all can yeah, see but i started sure. like breaking down the raised bed so that i can make way and room for the collard greens that she gonna help me yeah. uh, and teach me and, and coach me on growing <laughs> the right way. So y'all y'all see the area and y'all already know I've been playing with the five gallon buckets. So, you know, she's a little anti with the five gallon buckets yeah, I'm, for I'm, now. Y'all see Floyd I'm in the background, that's, that's hubby right yeah, that's there. Husband. Her, her husband, okay. <laughs> Y'all know Crystal is mine. <laughs> the end of the day, she team raised raise bed. beds. Okay, you know. Put yeah, in the yeah, description, yeah. Uh, the comments below, if you guys are team raised bed or team containers. Mm. I'm team raised bed. Mm. Okay, mm. All day, every day. Mm. We'll see. We'll see about day, that. Okay, so Toya, now, mm -hmm. and doing your collard greens, how high were your collard greens when you ultimately, like, before you cut them? How tall were they? Okay, so before I removed them from my raised bed, they yep. were three feet tall. Three feet tall. Wow. My collard greens grew three feet tall. That's and almost her first, height. <laughs> <laughs> at first, I was a little nervous because I was like, is this normal? Like, you know, are they supposed to be this tall? And some people would be would ask me, like, why so tall? I'm like, uh -huh. well, they're healthy. I mean, it is what it is. They right. still were providing me growth. Mm -hmm. um, and I was still able to harvest. So mm -hmm. it is what it is. So you guys can check out. If you want to see a visual right. of my collard greens, I have that on my channel also. Boom, so. Boom. we'll drop that link. Yeah. It'll yeah. say collard green collard link. Green. Okay, y'all <laughs> click that and y'all will see it. So what type of soil did you use? Um, what type of fertilizers did you use? Okay. Were there any like things you added as far as nitrogen, as far as banana yeah, peels, eggshells, coffee grinds, anything like that that you added to the soil to make it grow and be what it was? Yeah, definitely. Um, when I first started, um, I was a first time grower. Uh huh. So I I did my raised bed and then I bought the soil called Vigoro. Okay. Green so bag. I, yeah, green bag. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. I think uh -huh. you have one over yep, there. I got one over there. <laughs> yep, yep. Don't worry about it. I'm going to throw it away. Don't, don't talk about me, Toya. Okay. <laughs> I think you have I'm going to provide a visual. Bust it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Because uh, like, I'm visual. Yes. So, um, but yeah, I bought that. And at first, that's all I did. Mm -hmm. Until I learned more about, you know, fertilizers. So, I'm not going to lie. When I first started, I did the Miracle Grow, the Shaking Feet. Okay. Don't give, it, did, it, did, it did well. Hello, it but, did. you know, some people would prefer, like, more of an organic option mm -hmm. and so I was gearing towards that mm -hmm. but I must admit it really did grow I, I think that really helped my uh, collard greens grow as tall as it did as, okay. as far as like healthy as far as you know okay. growing tall okay the miracle grow yeah miracle grow okay uh, so I did that and then I, I was extra 
Okay. And I was starting to do composting, so ah. I would add that in there every mm -hmm. so often. Mm -hmm. I was so excited. I'm like, uh -huh. be, I think it needs some little, a little, little, little bit more. Uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. uh -huh. So, um, but at that time, my husband was he was in charge of the composting, so he uh, would put that guy, like, that guy back there. Yeah. Boom. Y'all see him. <laughs> So he would put like uh, the grass clippings uh, uh -huh. after he got done mowing the yard. Yep. Um, I would be in charge of like the eggshells, like yeah. you know the kitchen kitchen straps, and mm -hmm. put that in there. And you know I would definitely ever so often put some compost in there just yeah. to give it, you know, some more nutrients to the soil and so forth. Mm -hmm. So. And I like what you said because the grass clippings does help with protecting your right. roots and your plants yeah. itself. Yeah. So you can literally just cut your grass, put the clippings right, right. on top of your raised bed if that's what you have, right. um, just to keep everything nice and right. right. Also, not too thick though, because they too said thick. Boom. they can you know produce some type of slimy yep. residue on it. So not yep. too thick, just like a thin layer. Yep. Um, to help you know protect your plants and so forth. So and that's yeah. what I, I did do that too. Yep. But I had I think I did it too much. I was a little bit too extra, so I had okay. to thin it out. Okay. I did, I did a little bit too much. It'd be like that, you know. Yeah. You get excited when it's your first yeah. time. So let me show you this raised bed. This is right. okay. So I have like two raised beds, and I'm looking at putting my collard greens, okay. my spinach, my lettuce, okay. my celery, and um. Cabbage too, you know. Cabbage, yep, yep. Now cabbage is big. Cabbage is yeah, they grow they, big. They grow. I might I'm have surprised. to put them in five gallon buckets because them jokers are huge. <laughs> they you do had get big. You had cabbage? They, yeah, I okay. they do grow big. Yeah. I must admit, because originally when I planted mine, I had like four cabbages in there. I had Ooh. to take one out. Boom. Right. Yeah. Cabbage so grow you guys huge. Yes. Yeah. All right. And so depending on the variety yeah. that you have. Yep. They will, yeah, they grow pretty big. True, true. Yeah. And you grow from seeds like me. Yeah. So we can have fun with like different varieties of right. things like that because right. there's actually a lot of varieties of everything that we eat. Yep. Like it's not just the one thing that you go and buy. Right. There's multiple. So right. Right. when you're growing in seeds, you got options, okay, got at the options. end of the day. And I like options. Yes. I think I said that on one of my other videos. I uh -huh. like options. She so like I, options. Yeah, I like options. Uh-huh. <laughs> la la crops like, like options. <laughs> okay. So now I got these two raised beds that I'm looking at okay. as like my starter situation. So growing right there is basil okay. which i mean we really don't eat basil i just got right. it because it's like a, a companion plant and it helps to deter pests so right. that's the only reason why i grew basil okay. we made it use it only once um so i'm looking at using those two raised beds right here okay. so right here. yep these okay. two right here and then i got another one over there that i'm okay. looking at using okay. um then i got that situation over there that i'm gonna do my five gallon five buckets gallon. Yeah. Uh, okay you see the butterfly over there you know what i'm saying we I have friends we be having visitors Oh, you know, it is. I, I got it. You know, I hope that they can see it. it. Ain't the first time. You know, we welcome it all. Uh, so yes, what would you recommend for my raised beds here? I'm um, uh, seeing what they are and all that good stuff. Well, let's see the soil. I mean, what kind of soil do you have now? That's that uh, bigger row. Bigger row. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's bigger row and cow manure that's been in there for some time. Okay. Um, I mean, I would add some more soil. Okay. So that that uh, could give your plants, you know, more room to grow their roots. Yep. Of course, you know, put some more cow manure in there. Okay. Can't have that enough up. of that. No, can't never have enough of that. Okay. Uh, because you got to realize the plants that you did have in there, it took, you know. Nutrients. Nutrients uh -huh, from the soil. Uh -huh. Right, right. Now, you know, what type of nutrients we is that still left in there, we don't know. Unless you do right. like a soil test or something like that. I'm not doing that. Yeah. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Right, right. We've been getting it. Everybody got time. Everybody got time all No, not at all. No, So, no, no. the best uh, option is to... You know, just put some more soil in there. Yeah. Put some cow manure in there. Mix that up. Yep. And what I also use is um, vermis. Okay. Tierra. Okay. It's like a worm casting, not worm casting, but it's like a worm tea. Okay. So once my plants are in there, I like to use that on my plant, and that also helps with you know, kind of like amending the soil and make sure the root, like root health and stuff uh -huh. like that. So I like to add that. Yep. And then, you know, you guys, I have upgraded from. You know, mm. the miracle Grow. Okay, okay. <laughs> so okay. now I'm using um, kelp uh, nice. fertilizer uh, and fish fertilizer. Nice. And then yeah, as far as... meal type situation? Right. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So those are a little bit more natural yep. for your plants and yep. it won't burn, okay. which is important. Yeah. yeah we yeah, live yeah. in Florida, so, you Ooh. know, it's it hot. hot. It's hot yes. now. Yes, it's hot. It's yes. hot now. I have mm. upgraded to that. Okay, and okay. And then... I mean, you already got a good setup right here. So. Yes, yes. The hoop house is very yeah. necessary that, because, that's, you know, we under this oak tree. That yeah. oak tree <laughs> drop but a limb or two. As far as pests, you know, like oh, those true. little moths yes. that can lay like... Um, Larva? Yeah. Yep. Like, that's aggravated. You don't want holes, especially on no, your no, collars. No, no, like, no. You actually eat the leaves. So you don't true. want... You don't want holes in those. Nah. Uh, your cabbage also. You know, nah. you want a nice presentation. So nah. 
Um, you have a nice setup with this, so yes, that's that that that's good. Thank you, ma'am. I, I appreciate I that. I, I don't even have that. <laughs> not yet, not yet, not yet. But that's okay. That. Boo boo over there, you know what I'm saying? He taking he taking notes. We might have to do another video when we building right, this for them. Right, that could right. be another video. Okay, so of course I'm gonna remove the tomato plants. The tomato uh -huh. plants have to go. Um, right. They have dried up, shriveled up. Yeah. It's been raining. It's been yeah. raining almost every yeah. day here, and so I think that over time, all of the rain has damage my crops so yeah. i'm gonna have to remove those know crops that when the rain comes it gets like uh what is it called some type of what i forgot the fungus what's the name of fungus mm. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to revoke. I'm gonna have to revoke her car. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take yeah, her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she played a game with me to see if I should keep my gardener cart. Yeah. I did more. I answered more right than I did wrong. Yeah, so you, you, you know, I kept mine, mine, but I don't know right now. I don't, I don't know if it's the heat or what it is, but yeah. make sure y'all go check that video. I'll put the link to that video below um, when we did the interview at her house. But um, so okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move those. I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna take it out. No, now. I'm not gonna. No. You want to take it out? I mean, what's up? I, I, I didn't, I didn't want to take it out now, but okay, I mean, no, we if you want to take one out. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, okay. No, 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 no. Thank you. No. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a funeral um, for oh, okay. my tomato plants okay. at a later date. Okay. Um, and we will pray over the bad boys before we put them in the compost. And, you know, that'll be what it be. Okay. So, now, let me show you what I'm doing with this okay. bean situation now. Um, I kind of told her off script what was going on, what was my idea. Yeah. But so what I have here are beans. Y'all saw me do that video. I have beans and I also have peppers in the same raised bed, which they say don't do that. And I'm always curious as to why. I like to know the why behind why people <laughs> tell me don't do a thing. And most often, I, that leads me to get in some trouble, but whatever. It is what All it right. is. So I planted them together and I realized the bean plants are actually like killing out my pepper plants. Mm. And so as you can see with the leaves, boom, like look at the leaves wow. of my pepper plants they're a little rough i'm having like a lot of spots and things like that whereas my yeah. bean plants they are they're doing what they do yeah. like they're not the nice vibrant green color but at the end of the day i mean they're growing right you know they're doing what they do add, like some little nitrogen to it if okay if you ever see your plants like getting pale like that yeah including the cucumbers it's, it's just saying like the nitrogen okay. level is okay. a little low now what what's a nitrogen uh, option i can add fish fertilizer Okay. It's, uh, it's higher in nitrogen. It's like a okay. five one one ratio. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that, that's that's. <laughs> Y'all heard the numbers right? Five one one. I'm gonna have to look that up. I don't even know about no five one one. Yeah, don't. <laughs> um, you know, just getting you a good stable of fertilizer. Yeah. Is really important. And I've learned that over the years. Um, because yes. you know every plant needs certain things. Like when you start your cabbage and yep. um, okay, collards. You yes. know they grow mo mainly leaves. Yeah. So having a fertilizer. Higher nitrogen, but also, yeah. you know, giving you a ratio for your potassium and yep. uh, uh, what else? Phosphorus yep. for the stem health yes. is important too because yep. they have the stems. Okay. But, you know, the plant grows mainly, mainly leaves, so yep. you need that, you know, nitrogen to, you know, help it c continue to produce those leaves for you and stuff like that. Yeah. Especially yep. cabbage. Especially to form that head. Okay. Because uh -huh. when I first started growing, I was like, oh, well, where, where is that? When is it going to form? Uh -huh. You know, the head. So, but once I started applying, you know, more fertilizer to it, it started developing that uh, cabbage head for me and stuff like gotcha. that. Gotcha. So, See, the girl knows stuff. And so, <laughs> what I did do, so here you can see all like my little carrots and all of that. And what you see like popping up right here is a cauliflower. Oh, actually, okay. one of my cauliflowers actually stayed alive and is thriving and living and all that good stuff. As you can see, I put a weed out. But anyway, <laughs> one of them survived. I had three, one okay. left. These are carrots under here. Okay. I'm very curious as to what the carrots look like. I have not pulled out one yet. Have you like? Have you like? Um, I'm gonna say move no. like the soil around nah. to see how no, large they are. No, ma'am. Let's see, because that's what I like to do. Like sometimes. Okay. I'll move like the soil from around like the base. Yes, ma'am. Look at the little, 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 little carrot right okay, there. Okay. So you're not pulling it out. No. You're just trying to see like the size of it. Yes. Okay. So okay. it's it's a it's a medium size, you know. Okay. Yep, yep. So now you know like how thick the carrot is. Yep. You see some more. So now we don't know how deep it is, right. but at least you know that a carrot is forming. Yes. So that's a good thing. Now I'm just push the soil back on around. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. So, but yeah, that's a way of checking. Okay. Okay. Because you know what, I feel like. If you see a carrot getting like thick, yep. it may or when it 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 it's like it grows on top of the soil, yeah. like you can it's more visible. I see what you're saying. I think 
that's when it's time it, to pull. Yeah, it's time to pull. Okay, it's time to pull and it's time it's to time pick. Pull it's time to pull. Now, question. Uh -huh. I found out that you know you can actually eat the green parts of the carrots, like the top part. You did, you, did you know I, that? I didn't know that. You never, oh. Have you ever tried it? Oh. Okay, yeah, I found out that you can eat that, okay. and I also found out you can eat the leaves of sweet potatoes. Oh, I didn't I know that was a thing. Me. I think you told me about that. Yeah, I, I didn't know it was a thing, but you know. Yeah, so, but you know, some people like to eat flowers, so I guess this is true. This type of situation. Hello, <laughs> there's got, some edible flowers out there. Hello, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, <laughs> and sometimes, and I don't know if I'm gonna try it. I was wondering if you did. I, no, I have not. No, I made now, more flour. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know, but I don't know about the leaves. About the leaves. Okay. Now you see my candy cane pepper. I know. My bad boy this. is producing, right? I've already um picked off all the peppers that was growing. Oh, this is your. Yes, that's okay, my okay, little my support bad. right there. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I, that's uh, some little base. You so know. Tell, it, tell me to back up. Hello. It. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you know, my look, my thing's a little makeshift. She got a little contraptions and everything you know, on hers. <laughs> right, right, right. So you know, I bring sticks in this bad boy. <laughs> Uh, so it's been doing well. Okay. I'm very happy with it. It okay. still produces. Uh, okay. It's still doing what it's doing. So I'm still these, able right to here, harvest. Right Those were um, thing called Brussels sprouts. Oh, okay, so they they coming up now. They should. They okay, should have yeah. been up. They should have been okay. up. Toy, yeah, they you know? oh, okay. They should have been up. It's a bunch of them back there. Okay. Um, so we're gonna see. So we're gonna see. Is, I'm a little hopeful. How often do you fertilize there? If you feel like it should have been up. Um. Um, <laughs> I'm shaking the camera. No, because I really don't. I really don't. I really, yeah, yeah, I really don't fertilize. Like, okay, if you read the back of it, some fertilizers say every four four weeks okay. or two, depending on the fertilizer. Yeah. If it's a little weaker than two weeks, if it's yep. a little stronger, six weeks, four to six weeks. Yeah. So you know, giving your plants that routine of feeding them okay. is important for them to continue to mm. you know grow for you. So mm. that's probably why. Yes, ma'am. Your Brussels sprouts aren't growing the way they need to grow i'll, I'll take that i'll yeah. take that now at one point in time i was out here fertilizing twice a week because i had the miracle okay. too okay okay i had the white bag miracle grow the little powder that actually is pink which is oh, weird but it. yeah the powder is pink you oh. put it in there you shake it up and you you, you just, okay you know okay. but it's been raining so much that right. i really don't because i don't right. want to like when it rains then that's a different story like right don't use the liquid fertilizer because it's just a waste correct and yeah. so in the in order to use the fertilizer that i have you have to mix it with water okay. but i'm like i'm not gonna add more water because it just was had water because it just <laughs> rained so that's the reason why how about right. that okay mm, i got that out maybe. of that way I'll take that, but you do know that there's uh, inside, not inside, but soluble okay. fertilizer, which are oh. the gran granular okay. uh, fertilizer. That's yes, what I meant to say. Okay. So those are like, you know, the ones that you got to spread ah, around. Ah, okay. So, so I need that to would work those. better. Yeah. Okay. So if it's raining, yes. and you still want to fertilize, mm. use that. Mm. So then that'll help it dissolve mm. into the soil, and yes. you don't have to worry about like your liquid fertilizer. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Lala but that, Crops. But, uh -huh. that, but that type of fertilizer, it, it's a slow-release fertilizer. So okay. the plants won't get the nutrients right away. Oh, but in time. In time. They, they will. Time. Yeah. Yes, yes, So, yes. and oh, yeah, that's another thing. When Hit you start your collards, put uh -huh. some little fertilizer. Even okay. though cow manure okay. Okay. is, you know, do a little thing. But just yeah. you sprinkle some little fertilizer down okay. there. Okay. Some granular yes, fertilizer. Yes, ma'am. And that's going to help with the nutrients also. So, Okay, so time, could I put the fertilizer down before I put the collars in? Or should I wait? No, put, no, put. Put like when you mix the soil. Yeah. Put your layer of fertilizer in there, and okay. then you know mix it all up. Okay. And then put put your um your your seeds in My there. Seeds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I could do that. Yeah. I think I could so do that. It's gonna add you some uh, nutrients also. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I feel pretty secure okay. in going into these winter months with these winter crops now. <laughs> Um, and do your, do it, and do your uh, containers like that too. Yes, I will do my buckets. I will do my buckets like that. Okay, you could come <laughs> for them, but at the end of the day, you gonna but you see. Like, I'll give you some you gonna tips see. for that too. You know, uh -huh, uh -huh. I don't care for the containers. Uh -huh. but, I'm gonna but do another I, I competition. Get the containers. I'm not okay. gonna do it. Yeah, because I put my corn them. in there this year hey, because. See? I want to see if it would grow differently than, you know, the raised beds. So. Exactly. And so that's all I'm doing. I'm doing a competition. Okay. I'm seeing which one will grow faster and which one will grow better. Okay. Is it the raised bed or is it a five-gallon bucket? Now, which one will ultimately win is what I will do going forward <laughs> at the end of the day. Ain't right. nothing wrong with a little competition. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Won't have right. sports no more, so I got to create it myself. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. I, my garden became its own sport. <laughs> Which one grows faster, right. which one grows better. Okay. But it's the fun thing. Now, I do have some lemongrass over here. Hello. Okay. Let's you, you, see, you see what my boy said? Hit, 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 hit it with a floor. Competition brings about growth. There it is. There it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> little dribble it. little dribble it when you know you know. That's all I'm going to say. So now, Miss Toya, what you know about this lemongrass? So I put the lemongrass Nothing. over here. Because, okay. All right. So 
The idea be behind the lemongrass is that it helps to re repel pests. Okay. Which also, you have the centronella over there yeah, as well. Yeah, I've seen this at um, Home right. Depot right yep. there. You okay. see that on Depot, you pay about $15 for it. <laughs> Unnecessary. <laughs> the thing dies fast. Like, really? I really don't like it. Yeah. The lemongrass has been doing very well. I really have been enjoying my lemongrass. Okay. This has only been in for like three weeks. So how tall do they get? They can get very tall, right? Really? So they can get like two to three feet it? in time. Okay. Like if okay. if you, it's a way to get the essential oils out, which I don't mm, know. Like okay. I haven't learned that yet. Okay. But it's an essential oil that you can extract from the plant itself, oh. which also gives a fragrance too. Okay. So when I bought it from the nursery, they look like this. Okay. Look like this, have grown to that, like I said, in three weeks, which has been raining right. and stuff. Right. Um, so, you know, it's been popping. I'm going to take her to the nursery today so she can yeah, get a I'm feel excited. for excited. the nursery. You know, the one that's actually, like, about to shut down. Not because of COVID, but because, you know, they're retiring. But at the end of the day, I'm going to use every opportunity I can get right. to, you know, take part in what right. they have to offer. Now, also, what I have over here, which is a bug repellent and also a beneficiary to us, is mint. Mint, so yeah. This is my mint plant. Okay. Um, you know, you can get like a nice little smell for you. Rub, rub yeah. your fingers is on that thing. Is it chocolate one, Ricky? No, no, no. That's just regular. That's oh, okay. regular like spearmint. Okay, I like that okay, chocolate. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You smell that, right? You no, know, that's one of the ones I took out because they said. <laughs> uh oh, what happened? What you learned? They are uh, very uh, aggressive. Yes. Yes. So I, I was like, yeah, let me put my, and yeah. I knew it, but you know, yep. I wanted to put it in there yep. anyway. Like oh, you man. said, like you said, you just want to test it out anyway. Yep. I did the same thing with my mint uh -huh. and. Yeah. Hey, yeah is that Not to say it, it took over, but it's yep. just my conscience is eating at me. I was like, right. you know what, Latoya, you need to take this out. Yep. And you need to plant it separately. So I mm -hmm. took it out. Mm -hmm. And I have to plant some more yeah. for winter. So. And I actually had my mints in this raised right. bed. And I had put the one that I'm pointing at, which y'all can see now, that was in that one. And it was just invasive. That's yep. the other word, invasive. <laughs> and it was taking <laughs> over I'm everything. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> It was taking over everything, and I was like, oh, snap, man. It looked bad, and I didn't video myself taking it out, which I wish I did, but I didn't because it was just enough. Enough right. was enough. I had to pull it out. I had to get it yeah. out and get everything ready for the winter right. process. Right, and sometimes it's like that, you know? It's, it's like, like that. You know, you, you want to try, you tempt yep. it, and you just learn from your mistakes. That's it. I think for me... I uh -huh. think I have to go through those situations so yep. I know not to do it because I'm always curious, like you said. Yep. And it's like your mind is always saying, well, what if, what yep. if? Yep. Well, now you know what if because mm. you tried it and mm. you be like, no, I, I can't it's do it. It's not for me. Time. Yeah. It's not yeah. for me. So. You grow you grow and you learn. Right. Okay, right. pun intended. You grow and you learn right. through La La Crops <laughs> and Ricky and Jose. So, you know what I'm saying? We, we learn like it and grow. You know what I'm saying? Know. Ricky and Jose. No, no. Yeah, you know, I'm, <laughs> Oh, I'm in a Spanish area, so you gotta talk the talk, okay? Hola, hola, papi. Hola. Ah, you got a little dance, you got a little cha-cha-cha? CC. -cha -cha? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we, we. I said CC. It's okay. The girl is international <laughs> at the end of the day. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to get that help from Toya just to get my mind going and yeah. starting yeah. on what I need to do. Question. I did almost forget. When should I go ahead and start planting my collard greens, well, my good. lettuce, my you know, cabbage? We, we live in Florida. Things. Hello. So like when I did mine, which was like around September of last year. Okay. Man, my plants were still welting down. Ooh. So it's of that like sun. I don't even know. Sun. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because yeah. her, you have, you have cool I have shade. shade. Yeah. So she's you direct sun. Start See, okay. Mine. She's direct yeah, sun. It's direct sun. Huge field. So it's I like a football field. A little later. Uh huh. But I want to go ahead and get them started. So now I have anticipation into like a shade cloth yep. with a tent setup that I already have. So mm -hmm. I think I'm going to incorporate, well, I know I'm going to incorporate that yep. into the garden. But yep. like I said, you have this beautiful tree. I do. So you I mean, I'm glad you say it's beautiful. I, I, it is. No, it really is. It's like, helpful. It, 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 beautiful is a stretch, <laughs> but it's helpful. Okay. I, it's beautiful. Let's be honest. It's yes, ma'am. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, okay. you could go ahead and start your, um, you could go ahead and start putting seeds down. Uh -huh, and just uh -huh. see how it does. You yes. know, monitor it. Okay. To see if you need to make any adjustments. And yes, sometimes, ma you know, that's important to know yes, that you need to make adjustments. That's true. Along the way, you, yep. you're going to have to do that. Such as so. like thinning and things like that. Right. Yep. Right. You're right. Providing more water yep. or if it needs some shade. Because, you know, it, it, it just depends. Yes. Florida weather is it's bipolar. It's fickle. It's, yeah. But that sun gonna be there. That we all know there. that sun gonna be there. And that sun that's gonna hit. Florida. Yeah, it's, it's Florida. Gonna be there, so. It's a part of it. So and uh, to be honest, like um, like I was telling my uh, viewers, yeah, you know, here in Florida, we have like we're gonna have up to what till January of heat. True. Like yeah, November, December, but we still have heat now. Unless yep. it changes, you know, the world is changing. But unless it changes like dramatically, we're gonna still have heat. So. Mm -hmm. Some of those vegetables, like I mean, cucumbers, I'm still gonna try to grow in my garden because 
you know we have like a couple more months before we actually have like our little frost area so but yeah uh -huh. but yeah you can go ahead and start yours okay i and could do that see how it goes but like like i said i do advise you to have an open mind of yes ma'am maybe having to adjust some things okay if it gets too hot I could do that. <laughs> if it gets I could too do hot, that. So. I could do that. Yeah. I could do that. Okay, so now make sure y'all tune back in to watch me do what I do to get my collard greens, yes, my cabbage, yes, my yes. lettuce, my spinach, all of my leafy green winter-ish type as we air cool <laughs> because green. we all are in Florida like <laughs> right. winter is right, right, right type plants in the ground, which yeah. I'm so excited about. Oh, um, and that's, that's, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. What you got? What well, you got? You got another pack? Start you some seedlings just in case those don't. Okay. Now you see my area, I don't have like the screening lanai and things like that that you have in your la la crop area, okay? She have a workstation <laughs> and all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, that's that's in our interview. But anyway, <laughs> she got all that nice stuff. You see, I'm outside. I'm out here in nature. Like I don't have I tried to do you put the ceilings right here on the table. I gotta eat off that table. Totally. Oh, okay, you eat off that table. Okay, never mind. Okay. Never mind. See? Uh, but I will build one. I'm going okay. to build a work table, workbench area okay. for right there, okay? Okay. Because I'm gonna have my, now see, this is tapping into my other side. But anyway, I'm gonna go <laughs> and put my um, grill. My okay. grill's gonna be right here where this chair is. Okay. I'm gonna have a work table over there where the water fountain okay. is, the faucet situation. Right, yada, yada, faucet yada. right there. Uh huh, uh huh. And then so maybe I can do some stuff right there. Okay. Maybe I can do some seedlings. Yeah, I think you can. I think I can. And now, what should I put my seedlings in? Because I tried it into the egg carton. You can set it over there like it's a um, flop, so I'm um, not going to zoom in. They actually have uh, like these uh, little pallets that you can put the seed in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The that. biodegradable one. I don't even know if I, I really those. like like the plastic cups at the moment because, yeah. you know, it's just I feel like my soil is like loose around like the, mm. the perimeter. So gotcha. I think I'm going to try those. Um, I'm gonna try, I think I'm gonna the try that. Biodegradable yeah. joints. Okay. And you can just place it right in, into your so like the, yep. the the roots are still intact. You can exactly. take off the wrap wrapping. Or you can leave the wrapping. Yeah, you can leave the wrapping. Yeah. Yep. Um, because it'll have a hole at the bottom. Yep. yep. And, just place and I'll put a link below for that yep. down because you get them off Amazon. Yep. I got them off Amazon. Yep. I got the small ones and I got the big ones for yep. like onions and stuff right. like that, uh, which they did work. So right. I could I, get I that a try. Doing that. Yeah. Because right you. now I'm doing like the little cup, like the little recyclable. Correct. Uh, Bonnie Like the planter plant. joints. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it, you know, I feel like it'll do, but I just, maybe like the potty mix is just too loose. Okay. It's not contracting, yeah. you know? So I think I want to do that option. Gotcha. A little bit more. Gotcha, yeah. man. I thank you so much, Miss no Toya La La no Crops. Like Make sure y'all check out her Instagram. Check out her yes. YouTube page. The links will be below. Yes. Go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and follow her. Look at all her stuff. It is very inspirational and motivational for the ladies. You know what I'm saying? But then also <laughs> for me as well. Like, I pick her brain because she will do the research that <laughs> clearly I won't do. Uh, and she will know the different things like the 511. Did somebody know? I ain't know about 5 -1 -1. the 511. This is the first time y'all heard 511 on this channel but go to hers and y'all will find all that stuff out all the different tips and things like that so hey atoya i appreciate you anything no any last words you want to say for the people um, before we go just like what we said on my video yep. just allow your plants to grow yes. and allow your stuff to grow as a gardener boom boom floyd my brother you got anything you want to say before we go Nope. <laughs> Hello! That's a man of many words and a few amount of time. Okay, the same time, the same time. But we love you. Thank you. Until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Peace. <laughs>